Hey there, today we are making another floral cocktail. This cocktail is going to be involving rose. We have some rose water. I got this at a gourmet food store, I think when I was in Kingston, but you can just as easily get it online. It definitely has a pretty strong floral taste to it. Unlike the elderflower we were using in our last cocktail video, that one has more of a subtle taste. This one is definitely there, you can tell it's there. Um, it adds a nice complex flavor to whatever you're using it for. It's commonly found in Middle Eastern dishes, Persian dishes, Indian dishes, mostly for pastries or desserts like baklava or rice pudding. We're also going to be using some bitters. We're going to be using cardamom. Um, I have the powder at my house. It would be much better if you had pods um, because they're more fragrant. Um, cardamom has a very like spicy, herby, almost like citrusy taste to it. Um, and it's really good. It goes really well with lemon in my opinion. So we have some lemon juice here. The elderflower liqueur. Grapefruit juice. Some rose gin. Rose. And ice. Okay, so in my mixing jar, I already have some ice cubes. We're going to add about one eighth of a teaspoon of rose water. I'm going to put in about two pinches of cardamom. I was using the pods, I would probably use about two or three pods. Um, I would put them in first, muddle them up, and then put all the other ingredients on top. And I'm going to put two splashes of the bitters. Then I'm going to do half an ounce of the elderflower liqueur. One ounce of the grapefruit juice. One ounce of the rose gin. One ounce of the lemon juice. going to shake it all up. And just shake until you think everything is mixed together well, everything's incorporated. And then we're going to put some ice cubes in. We're going to pour the cocktail mix over top. We are going to top it off with some rosé. Okay, and there you have it, the perfect pink cocktail. My cat is playing in the background. I think she wants to make a debut.